Hi, welcome back to Fake It Till You Make It, or hello if you're new. Today I am decorating and filling in my currently pages in my classic vertical planner, which is my home planner, and my big dashboard, which is my social media planner. I actually got this idea from Elise from Plan With Elise. Um, she does these currently pages, and so I thought it would be fun to try it out because it's not something I typically do honestly um, here and there I have done them but I don't consistently do them every month but I think I would like to start because I did have a lot of fun um, decorating this using some stickers from create with Mandy shop which are adorable um, it's washi tape and some happy planner stickers So for this currently page or currently spread, whatever you want to call it, I really tried to have a mix of functional and decorative. I don't plan on writing a ton on this, but I did want enough room to note a couple things about this month. So you'll have to let me know, are you the kind of person who um, are, is pretty consistent month after month filling out your currently page, or do you tend to leave it blank like me? Like I said, this I, I usually leave it blank, but after talking to Elise, um, she kind of gave me the inspiration to go ahead and decorate this page and fill it in. So far, I really like how it is coming together with Mandy's stickers. They're so pretty, and they just coordinate so well with um, these stickers I found from Happy Planner. Okay, so I am gonna fill my currently pages out now. So this is from my classic vertical. This is like my home or personal planner. So I'm going to start with what I'm drinking, which is pumpkin. Cream Cold Brew from Starbucks. Oh my gosh, so good. I think here we'll do watching. I 
I've been watching this show. I talked about, if you watch my videos, I've talked about the show CB Strike. I found it, I think it's on HBO Max. Um, I didn't know it when I started it, but it was based, uh, it's like a detective show, like mini series actually more because there's not a ton of episodes, um, based off some books by, uh, Robert Galbraith, I believe is the author, but it's actually JK Rowling. I did not know that. Totally hooked. Loved it. Um, so much that I read, we'll do, I guess, reading down here. Um, that I bought the fifth book. Well, actually, it was an audiobook, but we're going to call it reading. I don't remember the name. Oh, I have to look. Troubled. Blood. And then what else should I put on here? Um, hmm. Oh, yes, we'll do eating. I'm going to say fresh veggies from farm stand. Which I guess is really more of an August thing because um, it will probably be closing soon now that it's September. But I've been loving that. Um, birthdays. Dates to remember. I don't think we have any birthdays in September. We do have a friend's birthday party. All right, and here I think I'm gonna do things I'm looking forward to this month. Um, so, the kids went back to school the end of August, but this is like the first full month. So I'm just gonna say kids back to school. Um, I'm gonna put dates with the hubby. Cool evenings. Fires. Ooh, the apple orchard. We always do that in September. Um, what else? Ooh, new fall shows. Harry Potter. I feel like my daughter and I always get back into Harry Potter in the fall. Seasonal drinks. Mm. Oh, I have a vacation. Uh, vacation. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just, it's a staycation, but vacation, that's something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Ooh, soccer. Soccer games. it that's I mean there's more to look forward to but I think those are the big things so I kind of like that I like that this is like kind of something to look at things that we'll be doing um, that I may or may not add to my planner but it's kind of cute to look back on so I like this so I'm gonna pop this back in my planner oh, sorry All right, so we popped that back in. 
So now I am going to fill in my big dashboard currently page. I use this planner strictly for social media and I've really been enjoying it. So as you just saw me do, I had torn off a little corner of this scrapbook paper that I found. It um, really pretty colors. It's like this navy and has some gold in it. And I just thought it would be perfect for this currently page. So of course no spread is complete without a quote. Um, I try to keep this page pretty minimal when I'm decorating um, because I wanted to make sure I had room to write down some goals and I wasn't sure how much space, space it was going to take. So again, like I kept it kind of minimal, added a little bit of washi, some scrapbook paper, some stickers, the whole shebang. And um, I think it turned out pretty cute, honestly. Okay, so this is my big dashboard planner that I use for social media, the Currently page. So, things I want to remember. By the time I share this, okay, I will be able to put this down. Um, things to remember. So, Labor Day. Just an extra day off for me. Um, happy Planner Preview. The new fall goods will be 9 7 at noon. I'm just going to put P for Pacific. Um, I'm going to put uh, HP Fall Live, meaning you can purchase it on the website nine nine at nine a.m i'm gonna put a p for pacific i should have just put it to eastern because i'm actually eastern standard but that's fine in my in my brain this is how i've remembered it um what else oh i have a vacation i said let me look because i definitely want to put that because that will be a week i might be able to get a little more done It'll be the 11th through the 19th. Vacation. 9, 11 through 9, 19. So that is good to know. Um, okay. Um, and I want to do something with the goals. Actually, I should have put this here. Um, maybe I'll do it here. My one of my goals is to grow on YouTube. And how I'm going to do that? Um, film and post at least. Three videos a week. And you guys let me know in the comments down below um, what day and times do you 
tend to come on YouTube. If it's not so much the day or maybe like, oh, you do at some point on the weekend, is it a certain time? Like, do you, I know personally, I will sometimes throw on a video in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, right? Um, I don't tend to watch as many YouTube videos on the weekends because I'm busy with my family, but I tend to watch them more during the week. But I don't know that I'm like, am I the exception to the rule? So I'm very curious because it will help me. So let me know in the comments. Um, so I want to film and post at least three videos a week. Um, uh, I would like to um, be one week ahead. with planning and filming. So I think that is really going to help me also stay on task, but also like utilize my planners in a way that's functional for me because at the end of the day, I need my planner to work for me. It's fun to decorate, but if I feel, I don't wanna have to feel like I'm behind, so I think that will help me stay consistent. Um, be one week ahead with planning and filming. Um, also, uh, I want to, this is not YouTube related, but post daily on IG. Um, I would like to take some lifestyle slash personal photos because I would like to share oh excuse me I would like to share more about that because I enjoy seeing that on other people's pages um, so I would like to do more of that um, what else? Reels. Ugh, I know Instagram is going more towards videos. So maybe reels, maybe two a week, perhaps. I think that that is probably a doable goal, right? I want to set goals that are achievable. I could put do seven reels, but I'm I don't have time for that. It would just never happen. Um, what else? Since this is social media, this these are strictly goals for social media. But that is good. The only other thing I want to add, um, these are personal to dos that will help me with social media. I want to organize my office and set up my new desk. Because being organized and getting this space um, more user-friendly will help with this because right now it's not working. So that's it, I still have room, I can add stuff if I want, but this is kind of what is like really on my mind right now that I want to do. And then I'm just gonna oh, add this back into my planner. And that's it. Those are my two currently pages because the other planner I'm using currently is a skinny classic and it doesn't really have a currently page. So that is that, folks. So that's it. Those are my two currently pages for the week. Forgive my nails. Um, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Fake It Till You Make It. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing. I am really trying to be consistent over here and come up with a schedule for you guys. I appreciate you taking the time to watch and I'll see you next time.